Hey guys, how's it going? It is Sunday the 15th of April and I decided that I would vlog a little bit um, and also explain kind of why I didn't make any videos last week because as you may recall I did say that I was going to try and post a video every single day in April and that was going really well for the first week and then I didn't make any videos last week and um so yeah, um, feel like I should fill you guys in, let you guys know why there were no videos. Um, first of all, I had um, quite a busy start to the week uh, last week. I was um, I with my boyfriend on Monday and I don't like vlog or anything really with him. And then on Tuesday I was out with my friends, so didn't really vlog anything there. And then on Wednesday... Well, okay, to be fair, on Wednesday nothing really happened, but I did go to Tesco, so there was that. Nothing super exciting to vlog there. And then, yeah, it just kind of got to the point where I had stopped making videos. And it was kind of nice that there was, like, a little bit of a break there after being so, like, jumping straight into it. Like, super intense videos every day kind of thing. Um, so what I'm saying is, is that it was a nice break. I, at first, was a little bit disappointed in myself because like I said I set myself to school and then I was already feeling at it but at the same time I think that that was okay I feel like it was needed and like I said like I was busy I didn't really have anything to vlog um so I didn't vlog um of course I could have always filmed other videos but then the other thing to that is that my housemate and her boyfriend have been in the house um which shouldn't really bother me like I'm totally fine if like my housemate here's me filming videos, but like also because her boyfriend's been over, it's kind of been a little bit awkward. Um, so like that's also like one of the reasons why I haven't filmed anything, but uh, yeah, so that's why. There is a video going up today, it is uh, all about my Fitbit first impressions, so there you go, you guys have probably already seen it by now. Um, and so yeah, that's kind of where I've been, that's why there haven't been videos, I'm sorry. I did tweet earlier in the week about it, I was like, um, I haven't made videos, but I have video ideas, so I will film things. Um, but yeah, I think the main point was of the goal to vlog every day in April was to get back to making videos because I haven't been making them very often lately, so that was the main goal. And I am making videos, so at least there's that. Um, and so hopefully I can keep up the momentum going throughout the year. I don't really know what's gonna happen. Um, literally, I kind of have like little milestones of how this year is gonna go. So basically right now, um, my main focus is to finish placement and then it'll be summer. It's like my last ever like proper summer because um, it'll be like my last summer before going into final year. Um, so final year of uni will start. It's going to be crazy. I already know it's going to be stressful. Um, there will probably not be many videos during final year because it will be a stressful time. Um, and then, uh, depending on how final year goes and graduation goes, there will be me starting my graduate job and me basically starting to work for the rest of my life. So there you go, guys. That is that that is me coming full-fledged adult right there um and depending on what kind of grad job and stuff I go for that all depends on what kind of summer I'm gonna have after final year because really the summer that you have after final year slash the summer that you have after third year in uni is like the last summers that you're ever gonna have after that it gets kind of boring and adulting where you're like working all the time and cannot just take two months off work even though you really want to so yeah not to freak you out or anything but that is kind of the way it goes depending on what career path that you want to go with um so yeah it's kind of scary to think about but that's kind of how my year is sort of going right now I don't have any plans for the summer like I'm not going on holiday or anything like that that I have planned so I can't promise you guys exciting vlogs, but I want there to be exciting things going on. Um, ooh. I am going to some drag queen shows, uh, very soon, I think. Uh, the next one I'm going to is in June, which is called Work the World, and it's kind of similar to Christmas Queens, where 
it's just a bunch of drag queens and it's gonna be fun so I'll vlog that I think um, I am also going to see Courtney act and Bianca Del Rio in August so I mean I do have some plans um, which are kind of exciting and so yeah meeting the drag queens doing the drag thing that's still a thing guys okay this vlog is probably just gonna be me here just like talking right now but guys can we talk about season 10 of RuPaul's Drag Race right now? It is amazing. I am obsessed with this season already. I love it so much and the last episode slayed me. The lip sync between Monet Exchange and Dusty Ray Bottoms slayed me. Like, I just don't even know how else to describe it. I mean, I can't stop watching Monet like fake going into that death drop. Like, I've watched it a million times. It's on my Snapchat. It was, um, I tweeted it. Like, I can't stop watching it. I'm obsessed with it. It's so good. Um, literally probably one of the best, um, lip syncs that they've ever done on the show. It, it was just so good, and I really loved it. And I also love that, like, Dusty is not a death drop queen. So, like, whenever there was, like, that beat drop in the song, like, she didn't actually do a death drop. So, like, I really love that, and, like, I just... I loved it a lot so there you go I love season 10 I love all the queens I actually loved how this week there was kind of a thing where they were like trying to decide who was gonna win whether it's gonna be like Miss Cracker or Aquaria and I know that they already have a thing for like being really similar but it was kind of interesting to see that they're like on the same level but very different aesthetically and so yeah I just Oh, I just love it so much, guys. And I was so excited that they did a ball um, this early in the show because then you got to see all the queens create all the looks and it was so amazing. And, like, I'm loving the fact that this show is, like, an hour long now because I feel like we get so much more and I feel like that's also why we were able to have them do a ball so early in the show because they had more time, more screen time to show us all the things and it was just great. So... There you go, guys. I'm basically in love with RuPaul's Drag Race this season. It's been amazing, and I am so desperately excited for, like, the next episodes because I'm so excited. Um, I just love it so much, and it's so amazing. So there you go. I am obsessed with RuPaul's Drag Race, um, even more so than I was before. Like, it's just so good. So, yeah. That's what's also going on. I'm obsessed with RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm still going to see all the drag queens. Other than that, uh, I'm kind of sad because Riverdale and Dynasty have taken a little bit of hi hiatus, which I was not prepared for. So I'm waiting for the next episode of Riverdale and Dynasty. Um, oh my gosh, I was talking to Victoria about this on Tuesday, but Victoria just started getting into Riverdale and I'm excited about that because that means I have someone to talk to you about Riverdale. She's probably way more into it than I am, but I'm still excited that there's someone to talk to about my TV shows because you know I love that. So... Yeah, patiently waiting for the next episode of Riverdale so I can talk about it with Victoria. But also waiting for the next episode of Dynasty because I'm just obsessed with that show. Um, and so yeah, that is what's going on. That's my life in a nutshell. Um, and so yeah. Uh, don't really know what else I have to say right now. I don't really know if I'm going to have anything else to say later. But I guess we just see. Um... Literally, it's like 3 o'clock right now, and I'm trying to think of, like, what my plans are for today. I didn't really have any. I think the plans were kind of, um, to, you know, play games. Because, <laughs> um, I have it right here, right? I really want to start playing more DS games again. So that's why I have this right here. This is my DS. Um, so I think I'm going to do that today because I haven't played my DS in a really long time. Uh, more specifically, I haven't played Animal Crossing on my 3DS in a super long time. Um, which is kind of crazy when you think about it because I used to be obsessed with Animal Crossing on the 3DS. Like the year that this game came out. I played it every single day um, for hours and hours and it actually got to the point during that summer where my hand was aching because I was holding my DS so much. I literally got repetitive strain injury from playing my DS and if that isn't like the nerdiest thing you've ever heard, I don't know what is but there you go. So I do want to play more DS games so I might do that today. Um, I also haven't really played my Switch in a long time if I'm honest. Um, but that's because I've kind of been put off Mario for a bit. 
it's kind of one of those things where you go through a phase of playing a game a lot and then you stop playing it one day and then you just don't pick it up for like months. That's kind of how I feel about Mario Odyssey. And I think it's because I'm so close to like getting all the moons and stuff that I know it's going to be over soon and then I don't know what I'm going to do with my life because I really love Mario Odyssey and I was really into it for a really long time. Um, and now I'm at the point where I'm just collecting all the extra moons and that's kind of sad because I don't know what I'm going to do after that. But I do want to play my Switch more. Uh, I Like I said, I spent a lot of money on that thing so I feel like I need to play it a lot to justify the price. Um, and I do want more games for my Switch because I feel like the three games, well, four games that I have are not enough. I need more games. I need Animal Crossing for the Switch, which I'm still hoping for. Gosh, every time I bring up Animal Crossing, I feel like I mention it for the Switch, but it's just something I really want, so I hope we get it. Um, and oh, before I leave today to go back to Belfast, I do want to play some Sims because I've been thinking about it and I haven't played Sims in a couple of weeks, so I really want to play some Sims. Um, I really want to also film some Sims create a Sim videos, but I haven't really been in the mood to create Sims lately, which is really weird for me because I love creating Sims. I love downloading custom content to put on my Sims. Like, that's my thing. I really like that. Um, but I haven't really been in the mood to do that lately. As you guys can see on my Sims channel, I've just been building non-stop, which I also really love to do, so there you go. Um, and so yeah, that's what's going on. Yes, I just rambled on to you guys for like 10 minutes. Hope you don't mind. Uh, just felt like this would be like a little bit of a life update and all that sort of stuff. Um, I will check back in with you guys later, whether that's just an outro or if there's anything else going on, I don't know, but I'll still let you guys know. And um, yeah. Check back with you guys in a bit. So I just started up my Sims 4 game and I thought I would show you guys a little bit of this save game that I've been playing. So this is the longest sim save game I've ever had in the history of The Sims. Um, and by that, I mean I've been playing this save game for like a year, uh, which I think is a huge accomplishment for me because I always start new sim save games like every time I play The Sims. Um, but I've been coming back to this save game and now this is a legacy challenge. So yeah, I'm on my second legacy right now and we just had two twins. As you guys can see down here, we've had two twins and those are going to be my legacy sims. Well. One of them is, the other one's just there for the ride. Um, but yeah, so like this is my current Sims household. We have um, six Sims and one dog um, because I got the Sims for cats and dogs and I wanted to have a pet in this family. Even though, if I'm honest, the pet is kind of neglected just because we have so many Sims going on. Um, but yeah, so this is their house. Um, I built this uh, years ago actually um, and I really love it and since uh, the family's grown and also uh, new expansions and stuff have come out while I've been playing I have added onto this house so yeah if we just go down I want to show you guys a little bit more in detail what this looks like. Um, I haven't done a video on my Sims channel about this house before actually, but I think I might do one just because I really love it. Um, so yeah, this is the house, as you guys can see we have like a little foyer area over here. Um, you have your living room, your kitchen, one of my Sims is in here cooking. Um, so yeah, this right here, this is my Sim right now, her name is Ruby Jewel and she is my legacy Sim. Um, so basically uh, what she wanted to achieve in her lifetime was to become a super parent and also own a five star restaurant, um, which we kind of have done. Uh, we do have a restaurant, if I show you guys down here, which is a four and a half stars right now, though it has been five stars before. And we are working on the super parent aspiration, which is down here as well. Still need to complete that, but I think with all the children we have in the house, that will be no problem. Um, so there you go, that is the downstairs. We got a little um, dining room over here and a bathroom and then like this cute little laundry corner, which I love. Um, and then, you know, you go into the back garden, we got uh, some nice landscaping, I think, and uh, a diamond shaped pool because 
at this thing, right? Um, if you guys go to my Sims channel, you'll actually see this, but the first house that I created for this legacy challenge was diamond shaped. And uh, yeah, that was kind of crazy. Um, but the whole idea of this is that the Sims are named after jewels or gems and that that's kind of the legacy and each um, each generation of the legacy will have a, their own color. So like the first generation was diamond and she's over here now, she's an elder and her color was white obviously because she was a diamond. Um, so there you go, she was all about white things, her house was white, um, this time we are ruby, so ruby red, uh, so everything here is kind of more red and like warm toned and obviously my sims got red hair and red clothes. Um, and then in the next generation of the legacy which we're moving on to, um, the colour is going to be blue because I named my sims sapphire so everything's going to be like a dark blue and um, yeah so. That's my background story. Uh, moving on, if we quickly go upstairs, oh, went too far. Yeah, so if we quickly go upstairs, uh, this is what the upstairs looks like. So we got all the bedrooms under the sun. Um, so yeah, this was initially like a three bedroom house. So I had this room and then the boys room and then this used to be all one room. It used to be a little bit thinner than this. Um, they used to come to about here, I want to say, um, but I had to increase them because, you know, we have more children. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what the place looks like. Um, very nice. I actually really love how this place is decorated too. Um, you got that bathroom over there and you have another bathroom over here. I really like the way this place is decorated and that's because I built this around the time that The Sims for parenthood came out and like that's why uh, downstairs in the living room we have like all of the parenthood stuff and why the kitchen has all the parent stuff too because this is around the time I got that pack and I just really loved all the furniture in it so yeah this is my sim save game this is the one that I've been playing the most I think I will do like a proper um, sims channel video on this but I just thought I'd show you my main channel because I don't know if you guys are interested, but like this is what I do in The Sims. Uh, I do this sort of thing, and this is like the save game that I've been playing off camera. I haven't done a good Sims Let's Play in a really long time, um, and I don't think I'm going to just because I start them and I never finish them and I never have an end point. So don't think there'll be any like Let's Plays from me anytime soon. But I would like to give you guys an insight into this save game in more detail and stuff because I feel like that would be interesting. Maybe I'll do it um, next weekend or something, uh, but I just wanted to play a little bit now before I leave. Um, back to my other house and I just wanted to show you guys, so yeah. This is what I like to do when I play The Sims. Um, I think the last time I showed you guys on my main channel, me playing Sims, it was like The Sims 2. Um, I haven't actually played The Sims 2 since the last time that I vlogged it with you guys during Vlogmas. And that's because after that time, my save game crashed and I didn't save. And uh, yeah, I've been too scared to go back. But this is what I'm doing now. I'm really happy with it. I enjoy it. And uh, yeah. So there you go guys, this is my Sims 4 life. Hey guys, so I made it to Belfast, as you guys can see, different background. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. Don't really have plans for tonight. Basically, probably just gonna chill, play my DS like I talked to you guys about earlier. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd end the vlog. But before I do, I wanna talk to you guys about my bed sheets. <laughs> really random, I know, but yeah, um, so <laughs> last week my boyfriend got me these bed sheets. Let me just sort of show you guys right here. These ones, um, clearly winter designed, um, but yeah, they're like brushed cotton bed sheets, um, which means they feel like pajamas, and they're like the best thing that I've ever owned ever. They're really comfortable and amazing, and basically it makes it really hard to get out of bed in the morning because they're just so comfortable. Um, and so yeah, wanted to mention it to you guys because I'm obsessed with them and I love them so much. And so yeah, if you guys are ever looking for bed sheets, I would suggest the brush cotton ones. Um, like I said, they are technically um, supposed to be like winter bed sheets. So definitely for colder times because they are a lot warmer than like your regular bed sheets. But 
I recommend them. They're really great. Plus, it's still cold here, like at nights and stuff, so I'm all about the winter bed sheets. Um, and so yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite video game is. Um, in case you guys didn't know, I'm really a big fan of Animal Crossing and The Sims. Um, that's basically the only games that I like to play. Um, there are some like other games that sometimes make the cut, but like Animal Crossing and Sims are like my main go-to. Um, and so yeah. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.